Previously on Fear the Walking Dead. Just keep watching. It's gonna, it's gonna be worth it. Yeah, it's worth it when the friggin' thing comes off my damn TV. That's when it's worth it. And she tells her to come find her. She's like, over here, this way. You need to go find Strand, the asshole that's just tried to kill your friends. We've got this disgusting, might I add, scene. We see her like rotted, like skeleton, like hand. Man, I don't know if I want to watch Fear next season. Oh, get, get on the raft! No! All right, I'll get on the frickin' raft. Let's go before I change my mind. This looks like it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of your Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for Fear of the Walking Dead. This one is going to be doing my video review for the Season 7 finale of Fear of the Walking Dead. This is for Episode 16, titled Gone Slash the Madison Return Episode. guys, this is going to be doing another video for today. This one is going to be doing another video for Fear the Walking Dead. And in today's video, we're going to be doing our final, final ever review for Season 7 of Fear the Walking Dead. This one is for Episode 16, which is titled Gone. So, the season finale of Season 7 of Fear the Walking Dead is here. It is time to give our thoughts on what we thought of the Madison return and the end of Season 7. So, alright. Let's talk about this. So, um... It was a pretty decent finale to me. I mean, honestly, compared to a lot of the things that they've been giving us this season, I actually can say uh, I enjoyed at least an, a, an okay amount of the episode, okay? I do have my share of problems with this episode. It's not a flawless episode by any means, but I think it is a pretty decent kind of ending to the season, I would say. So, okay. This is going to contain spoilers, so of course, uh, if you haven't seen the episode yet, definitely go ahead and watch it first. So, all right, let's talk about this. So, how do we feel about Madison's return in Fear of the Walking Dead? And I guess I'll ask you guys this uh, before we get into it. I thought that this was actually a really good return. I, I really like it. At first, I was a little bit unsure. I was kind of like, okay, I don't know if I'm going to like this. But um, by the time I got around the back half of the episode and I started to see a little bit more of it, I, I enjoy it. I actually enjoy her return. I think Kim Dickens, uh, you know, really did a good job. Uh, for years of being out of this show and to jump back into the show like this, it's not an easy thing. And I think that she did a really, really good job at, uh, you know, kind of portraying Madison so quickly again. And, um, you know, in particular because Alicia Devlin Carey is gone. So she can't not be she can't be too motivated, you know, when she returns, but I think she did a great job uh, nevertheless. So I'm glad to have Kim Dickens back on Fear the Walking Dead. I hope Madison can be uh, a lot of what she was like in the back half of this episode in season eight, because obviously we do need more Clarks and for the love of God, she's like the only one left. So let's see if they can hang on to this one. So let's get started with this episode. So Basically, this is what goes down this week. You've got Morgan and a uh, little Mo that are up in like this tent or whatever. Uh, obviously, the rest of our crew are, are out there on the rafts. And Morgan is, you know, kind of searching for supplies on this like little island or whatever. And he runs into a character named Ava. Now, Ava is a scared woman that is looking for her daughter that was then, we then find out later on, was captured by Padre. So apparently her kid is, is captured by Padre. But she makes it seem like she's pregnant for some reason, which we'll get into that in a sec. But basically, Morgan gets back, and then uh, he gets back to his camp, and then he then... Let me get this straight. He gets knocked out, and then uh, you see the kid there uh, being kind of harmed with by these people with, like, these cloth, like, masks on or something. And they want to basically bury Morgan alive, which is a pretty intense scene as they're, you know, kind of getting ready to, you know, bury him alive. And then uh, the, the men get killed, and you're kind of wondering who this is. And I remember at first, I was like, yeah, we know this is going to be Madison because of the trailer. But she saves Morgan, but then... She takes off with his baby, okay? So that's how the episode begins. She literally takes Morgan's kid and runs. Okay, so like I said, this is kind of a weird aspect of this episode. I'm not understanding why Madison, which this is basically her motivation when she comes back, is that she takes kids hostage from their parents to bring them to Padre, okay? So 
really weird. I just don't understand anything when it comes to that. Madison capturing kids and, you know, bringing them to Padre. Again, we're going to have to see what exactly they did to brainwash her into doing something like this. But yes, Madison is doing this for Padre. And not only that, she is capturing babies. And I mean, it's just, it's weird. It's really weird. And I can't even say I like it. It's just kind of an odd plot, to be honest. But Anyway, she kind of, you know, starts doing that. And then Morgan catches up to her, points the axe towards her and uh, asks her where the baby is. But she says the baby's already gone towards Padre. So now they're going to have to, you know, go to Padre themselves. You know, he's kind of holding Madison hostage and stuff like that. And, um, well, let's talk about, uh, you know, the moment which I thought was really cool in this one where Morgan kind of realizes who she is. She kind of gets, you know, kind of untied and she gets the upper hand against Morgan and then they start to kind of fight you got Madison with this like huge freaking hammer as they start fighting each other and Morgan gets the upper hand and then he realizes as seeing the uh, Nick and Madison on her arm thing Morgan kind of takes a step back for a second he's like oh my god you're Madison you know and you're Madison Clark you know really like the way they did that scene because it's like he kind of almost does, doesn't believe it at first. He's like, oh my God, you're Madison. Like, what the hell? So he, um, you know, he, he kind of, you know, says like, hey, I'm Morgan, you know, I, you know, I know your kids, that type of thing. And well, let's talk about uh, kind of the interactions between the two of them, because this was some pretty crazy stuff, right? So Madison tells Morgan as they're kind of running from these, these people, these cloth people, I would like to call them. So they're kind of running from them. They go inside this like mansion or whatever, uh, where we then find a girl named Ava and Ava, you know, she's kind of not really wanting to hear this either. She wants to get out of here, wants to find her kid, you know, and you know, Madison then finds out she's lying about herself being pregnant. So then, you know, they all kind of start to fight each other a little bit and, you know, we don't know who can trust who type of thing. So the doors are closed, the men are still looking for them, and that's when Morgan tells Madison that not only is Nick dead, but also Alicia's dead. So he basically tells her that both of her kids are dead, but we find out that Madison doesn't even want to know where they are. So when we hear this, we then start seeing flashbacks of Madison beforehand when, you know, she's, you know, having trouble breathing, she's breathing through the, you know, the thing or whatever, and they're asking her these questions over the speaker. And it's kind of going back and forth back then to when she was found by, I'm more than likely assuming Padre. And we see some scenes in this one, but nothing too big. I mean, we, we know that they brainwash her. We just don't know how yet. They don't really explain it in the episode. But Madison finds out about her kids dying, in particular Nick. And she then later on, Morgan kind of tells her the full story. And she also finds out that there is a potential that Alicia is still out there alive because Morgan didn't see her die. But at least with Nick, Nick is dead, you know, and he says, like, I witnessed it, Strand, Alicia, Luciana, that type of thing. And, uh, you know, Madison is quite broken after that. So, uh, you know, at least she knows about Nick. That's one thing that I was waiting for. And it was a really well done scene, I think. Uh, but yeah, it, it's, you know, it's just crazy because Madison comes back and both of her kids aren't here. I mean, Alicia isn't dead, but at the same time, like, where the hell is she? You know, that type of thing. So yeah, that was a pretty powerful scene. So then you've got the cloth people. Again, I'm going to call them the cloth people. Uh, they tell them to open up the door. They do. They don't fight. They open up the door to this house. And uh, they basically take Madison and they take, you know, Ava. And they're going to bury Madison alive. So we see that as Madison is then in a pile of dirt. Uh, which, this was kind of cringe. Not going to lie. This was kind of cringe when she's in the dirt and you just see like her her head in the dirt it's just her head sticking out or something i felt like i was watching james blunt like high, like a high video or something you guys ever see that freaking music video where he has like the freaking just the head in the sand or something i feel like i was watching the james blunt high video and she's just like she's gonna start singing i'm high or something like that you know anybody that's seen that music video you know what i'm talking about but that's what i felt like i was watching with her heads like sticking out and all that from the friggin the sand or whatever and it's like i just that was weird because they said they were going to bury her alive. It's like, wouldn't you bury her completely? I just, I don't know. That was weird. But Madison uh, is saved by Morgan. And um, evidently these people are killed. But at the same time, you also have Ava that is also killed. Uh, and they find her as a walker and they kind of take her out. 
So Ava doesn't survive the episode, but her kid is still a Padre as far as we're concerned. So I don't know uh, if we're going to see that kid next season or whatever, but you know, who knows? They probably f captured like 50,000 babies at Padre by this point. So anyway, they then are taken by uh, another crew uh, who I believe are part of Padre. And at the end of the episode, Morgan and Madison are captured by these people that I believe come from Padre. And they're put into this boat and they're being sent out to like this large boat out in the middle of the water, right? And um, she tells Morgan at the end of the episode that I actually don't know what Padre is either. And she has no clue. And that's how the episode ends with a really actually well done zoom out as they kind of go out there um, and they're captured and we're gonna have to see next season who these people are and what Padre is about and you know are they bad because it kind of seems like they are so far so yeah we'll see but that's the episode that's how season seven wraps up. Morgan and Madison captured being taken to a boat by some unknown people who we believe are probably part of Padre. So okay. Decent finale. I, I think what really saves this one for me is the, uh, you know, the Nick Madison finding out about Nick and her kids and her interactions with Morgan. I actually really like her interactions with Morgan. Uh, I think both Lenny James and Kim Dickens did a good job this episode. And, you know, it has some decent moments. I will say, though, the episode suffers a lot with lack of information on why she's stealing these kids. I still want to know that. And I feel like we're going to get an answer to that in season eight. So I'm not going to totally judge it like completely. It's just, it's just a weird concept. I'm not sure why they went that route, but anyway, that's kind of my brief thoughts. That's my thoughts on season seven. We will do a full season review coming up this week, giving our thoughts on this full season overall. It's a decent finale. It's as a matter of fact, one of the better episodes of the half. Uh, so I guess that counts for something, but anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Write your comments, comment section below. Are you happy Madison's back? Definitely let me know in the comments, comments section below. So, of course, guys, if you're new here, make sure to click the subscribe button. You know, some of the videos for Fear of the Walking Dead. Follow me as Walking Dead, subscribe, guys. And, of course, I'll see you guys really soon for another video for Fear of the Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.